Hello friends, uh, in this example, uh, I'm going to talk about how to use flows uh, to replicate the roll-up summarize concept which is uh, generally available on uh, master data relationship objects on Salesforce. Let's say I uh, have the account and contacts object here and the accounts has a field called total contacts revenue. And um, let's say uh, I have uh, one more field on the contact set called expected revenue. So in this example, um, let's say uh, we have a, uh, a number of contacts and uh, each contact ha has a expected revenue. And uh, I want to get the total, uh, uh, the total sum of uh, expected revenue of all the contacts back into the account record. Uh, we generally go for a trigger because the account and contact uh, that they don't have the master data relationship or if it, uh, we can take any two different custom objects also which has a lookup relationship concept and um, so to, uh, to, to handle this issue uh, Salesforce came up with the flows uh, where um, we can use the flows concept uh, to update um, uh, to update a, um, any roll any custom roll-up summary fields that uh, we are creating on the account object so for this one I'm going back to the setup page so this is my setup page and we just need to click on the uh, just need to type the flows uh, which opens the flow setup page uh, where uh, we can initiate to create the new flow on the Salesforce system so I'm on the setup page uh, I'm going to click on the new flow button so this one takes me to a page where uh, I can select which type of flow that I want to create <clears throat> so uh, here we have multiple options uh, and um, for, for this one, I'm going to select the record trigger flow uh, because um, uh, I want to execute the flow whenever I'm creating the record or whenever I'm uh, updating the record on the back, on the on the uh, Salesforce system. So I'm selecting the record trigger flow, and I'm going to say next, selecting the one of the options to create the flow UI. So this is my start node, and uh, we have an option to select. Uh, when the flow has to be executed so as we can see here we have an option for create update or create uh, or update and delete option uh, in my uh, use case i'm going to select the uh, option which uh, which talks about whenever the record is getting created or updated and also uh, there is an option for when the flow has to run so i'm selecting the after record is saved uh, the reason the reason is um, i have to update the accounts object uh, no, yeah, it's not the contacts objects. So that is the reason as as my operation is on different object uh, So I'm selecting the after uh, the record is saved option for the flow So once I select the options, I'm clicking on the done button and As a next step, uh, I'm going to select the object as contact because that is uh, where uh, where the user enters the uh, expected revenue amount So once I enter the value, I'm going to select it <coughs> condition requirements so I'm just going with a simple condition where the account ID uh, does not equal to null so I'm just saying uh, account ID does not equal to empty and uh, I'm just gonna say done so I selected the object here and added a simple condition and after that I'm going to get the uh, all the contacts first so, so in this example I'm going to just say um, get all contacts from agency. Get contacts of account. So my object is going to be the contact. <coughs> and here uh, uh, the filter contact records, like you know, which contact records that I want to consider. Uh, so in this example, I'm going to filter the contact records the account ID so I want to get uh, all the contacts where the account ID is equal to uh, the account ID of the contact record so I have an option called record here so if we go to the record and you can select the field account ID from here <coughs> so I have the condition which looks for uh, contacts where the account ID is matching to the record uh, where I'm doing the uh, field changes so once this is set up i am going to select the option as all records uh, because i have to take all the contacts for related to the account that uh, i'm going to update and uh, here i'm going to 
select the option for choose a field and assign the variable and from here I'm going to select the record collection and uh, create a new resource uh, which uh, uh, this is going to help me to store uh, all, uh, all the contacts information I select the resource type as variable and I'll just give uh, all account contacts uh, as I mentioned that I need to get a list of contacts for the account so I'm selecting the option as uh, allow multiple values so from here so from here I'm, I'm I'm going to select the object also so that's going to be record and my object is going to be a contact object so once the options are selected I'll just listen to it done uh, so as you can see the field is selected and we can query if we, uh, the fields uh, if we need any extra fields to be added uh, from the contact so I'm just going to take the expected revenue so once this is done uh, we just need to click on the done button so as a first step uh, we got all the contacts which are uh, related to the account that we selected uh, from the contact uh, from the from the source contact record so this step is completed now we'll create a loop I'm just going to add a loop here so the loop uh, will uh, will go through all the contacts and uh, and uh, do the required assignments in the next step so i'm just going to name it as a uh, uh, loop through contacts <coughs> and my variable is going to be the get account contacts and i'm not going to select any option in the direction section I'm just set done so once this is done i'm going to um, select the assignment so this is where the uh, where the field assignments will happen uh, so here I'll just name it as a calculator calculator amount and in our example uh, we have to create a new source field because uh, <coughs> uh, bec uh, because we have to store the value that we got from all the contacts into the uh, new variables so for that reason I'm going to create a new source field so I'll just uh, make it as variable and the, and the data type is going to the currency field and uh, give the name as uh, sum of four, let's say expenses and sum of four, sum of values So once I select the values, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to give any default value because uh, um, it doesn't make any sense to give default value for the field. And uh, once that is done, just will say done. And here, uh, this is a very important thing, uh, where uh, you have to select the operator. So in, in our example, we know that we have to, we have to add the values of uh, each contact and push it back to the account. So, um, so I'm going to select the add option here and the value is going to be so we have an option called current item from the loop so here from this one uh, I'm going to select the I'm going to select the expected revenue so that is I feel that uh, I want to loop through all the contacts so once I do the selection I just need to say done so this step is done uh, I'm just going to link these uh, nodes Uh, as a final step, we have to um, set, uh, we have to select the data as update records. Uh, just give the name as update account uh, with the values. And here I'm going to select the specific conditions to identify the records. So here I'm going to select the object as account. I'll just set the ID field with the, which, which account that I want to update. And in my case, I'm going to select the I'll select it from the record level because uh, so 
on this was select and then select the account ID here. The field assignment, just select the field that I want to update. So for this field, I'm going to update the value of uh, uh, sum of values. Set down. So that is done. Just need to <laughs> uh, link the loop with the update records and click on save. So this uh, limit has just update uh, update account revenue Is a sale now. I'll activate the flow and I'll go back to the now account section. <laughs> so, as you can see here, that uh, um, uh, there is no value of the total contacts revenue. So, just taking this contact from the account, give me a value as a uh, $5,700 as an example, and then when you click on save. So I'll get saved on the content. And if we go to the accounts, uh, I should see the total contacts. So our revenue has 2700. <laughs> Let's say if I update the value with a different number, like uh, $3,000, and then click on save, uh, I should see the new number here. Now I'm going to take the uh, next contact for that account. So for this contact, uh, I'm going to add uh, some expected revenue like uh, let's say ten thousand dollars. And when I click on save and uh, refresh it, I should see it as thirteen thousand dollars. So this is uh, this is something about where updating the values for the existing records. Uh, we'll create a new contact. Um, so name is. Show on field. and I'll give the revenue as uh, some two thousand dollars and uh, let's save. Now, if I go back to the account, I should see it as fifteen thousand dollars. So, this is the way that uh, uh, we can update the values of on the account from the contact records. Also, we can check in you know, what if we reduce the value here. So, if I make it as $300 and say the value should get changed. So, as you can see here, it changed from $15,000 to $12,300. So, this is how we, uh, we can easily use the rule of summaries uh, functionality by using flows on the sale force. Uh, but there is one limitation that I have seen. I'm just going back to the flow. So if you check the flow. Uh, let's say if I delete all the contacts, and uh, what if I want to see the new, uh, see the total revenue as zero. So for this one, I uh, I think the flow doesn't have an option for now, uh, which I have seen from here. Like there is an option for the record is deleted, but this is only for the before the record is deleted. So the so this don't help us to update the values on the account record so in this case we can uh, in this case we need to go for a trigger only for the delete concept but this update is uh, until winter 21 or uh, i think it started in the spring 21 also uh, probably Salesforce is planning to add it in future so this is all about the flow that uh, uh, that i was planning to explain to you uh, uh, please uh, let me know if you guys have any questions you can add it as a comment uh, under this video. Thank you